What's up guys? Today we are talking about what photography gear I use on a wedding day. First, let's talk about what camera bodies I use on a wedding day. I bring two Canon R6s with me to every single wedding and I love these cameras. They're lightweight and they're quick. They have the digital viewfinder, which is amazing um, for quick changes on your settings. And I typically roll with these on my hold fast all day long. One of them has the adapter on that um, and that is because most of my lenses are EF mount except for my main lens that I use all day long, which is my Canon 50 millimeter 1.2 RF. So this is my main setup for almost everything on a wedding day. So I will keep this on all day long and I capture every single part of the wedding day with this lens alongside of a different one, depending on what we're photographing. Let's dive into those lenses. So the other lens that I use the most often is this bad boy and this is my very first lens that I ever bought for my wedding photography business. Not this specific one because that one just stopped working because it was so old, but I had to rebuy it because I love it that much and it is the Sigma 35 1.4. This is a tried and true. It's the most bang for your buck when it comes to lenses in general and it's reliable and it's a really good fixed lens for wide angle shots. I use this lens primarily if the getting ready space is a little bit uh, smaller, if the dance floor is pretty tight or there's a lot of people on the dance floor. So almost always, this is gonna be right alongside my 50 on my cameras. The next lens that I have in my bag is this one. This is the Canon 85 1.2. I have had this lens for a very long time. When I first started my business, I used this lens so much. And then for whatever reason, I just kind of stopped using it until Alex started wanting to use this for video and I realized that it was amazing for speeches and I didn't have to be super close in front of people for capturing the speaker or capturing the couple's reaction. So now I have to fight him for it because I like to use this for speeches so I can kind of be out of the way, incognito, and still capture good reactions. The next lens is the Canon Macro 100 millimeter lens. And again, this is one of those lenses that I was using so much in the beginning. And then I feel like maybe I just got a little bit lazy and I stopped using it for detail shots. But if I'm using this lens, it is for detail shots or unless the room that we're photographing in is absolutely massive and I don't wanna use my 7200, I will put this bad boy on to get really tight shots in a really big space. But it really doesn't get the glory it deserves. It is a really good lens. It's very, very good for details, um, for flat lays and bridal details and stuff like that. I feel like if it wasn't in my bag, I would feel like something was missing, although I don't use it as much as I should. Okay, the final lens that I have in my bag is the 70 to 200. This is a big guy, super heavy, and for that reason, I will choose any other lens over this one unless I absolutely have to use this. And honestly, I do use it quite often in big churches and things like that. If I don't have it on my camera, chances are Alex will for video. He also loves this lens. So yeah, it's really good if you're in big spaces, big churches, big aisles, things like that. So. Definitely a necessity for me. All right, let's talk about lighting. So I have three of these. These are the Canon 600 EXRT. Two of them typically will be on light stands, one of them with an umbrella, if we're in a big space. And then this one will live on this setup for reception, and it will always have my MagMod diffuser on it. This is my primary flash on my main camera body and then the other two are on light stands. Alongside my digital photography gear, I also shoot film. So I bring this to my weddings as well and this is the Pentax 645. It has a 75 millimeter 2.8 lens um, and this setup pretty much never changes. I love this, I love shooting film, it's so much fun. And my favorite film stock is the Fuji Pro 400H. So almost always I'll be rolling that in the, in the camera. And then I also have my light meter with me. Okay, other random stuff that I have in my bag other than photography gear is obviously my uh, camera batteries. I have AA batteries for my flashes and for my film camera. I also have this little fan that I put around my neck and it's amazing on hot days because it saves my life and sometimes summer weddings are very, very hot. So I have two of these, one for me, one for Alex. 
I also carry this little reflector in my bag. This is one of my favorite things. It has a silver side, black side, and then if you open it up, there is a gold and a white in there. Typically, I will use this if I need to bounce light on detail shots. Just because it is so small, it's it's not gonna work for like a big photo or like a big room shot or anything like that. So I usually will use this for any detail shots that need extra light. Let's talk about our modifiers and just the fun extra things that we sometimes use on a wedding day. So I have one of these from Prism Lens FX. This is the dream filter. So Alex and I will share this if we want a shot to be like super soft, super creamy. It just adds a really cool effect. So I have that in my bag. I also have a prism and really I only use this um, on the dance floor to add like a fun different feel to the photos. If we're in like an epic location or something like that that calls for something like this, then it's good to have. But other than that, this doesn't get used too much. I would say Alex probably uses it more than I do. All right guys, so that is pretty much it other than the light stands that I use and the umbrella. That is everything that I bring with me on a wedding day. All of this fits in my Think Tank bag. That is the airport edition, fits in above head storage on an airplane. I love that bag. Um, and yeah, that is it. So everything that I listed will be linked below um, for you guys to check out. And let me know what your favorite gear is on a wedding day. I know Alex is doing a video edition, but he has to break it up because he has so much gear. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoy.